In this video I'm going to show you how to take a regular 2D video and turn it into 3D using Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see here I've created a new workspace which is uh, the right size for the video that we're going to be working on. So to get started I'm going to import the video that I want to convert to 3D. Uh, a great video by Z400 Halls on YouTube uh, of Brendan Bernstein's Top Fuel Dragster warming up. So I've imported that now, you can see it here in the assets area, I'm going to drag it down into the timeline. Now as you can see we have a video track and an audio track and if I click the video track, the audio track highlights as well. That means that the two tracks are linked. Now in order to create the stereoscopic 3D effect we need, we need a second channel of video. So what we need to do is copy that first channel, but we don't want to copy the audio track because we really only need one channel of audio. So what we're going to do is if we just right click on that, you'll see here an option to unlink the two. Now that I've unlinked them, you'll see that the top one only is highlighted and the bottom one is unhighlighted. So if we click it there, we can see we select the audio track, click the video, we've selected the video track and the two are now separate from each other. That's what we need to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and right click that and copy it. Now to paste it onto our second blank, our video cha uh, channel 2 here, the blank channel, uh, if we were to press paste now, it would paste over the top of the one that we uh, currently have selected here in video 1. The reason being is because you can see here, video track 1 is uh, in a different grey colour. That means that it's selected, it's an active channel, and so is the audio. So at this point we don't really want to uh, do anything with that so we're just going to click this area here and you'll see it goes off and then down here the audio click that again now that's unselected we want to paste our second track of video onto video 2 now that we've highlighted that it will paste into this layer what you need to do also is make sure that your playhead is right back at the very very beginning because if you were to paste it now with it out here it would paste here and it wouldn't line up with the rest of the video so to make sure that your playhead is right back at the very beginning of the project just go up to here where it says go to in click that button and it'll send the playhead right back to the very very beginning now if I was to click control V or Command V on a Mac now you'll see that we have pasted in our second channel of video and our playhead's gone right to the end that doesn't really help us so we're just going to send it back to the beginning and now we're ready to get editing what you can do now to make everything look even if you want to is just click this little triangle here that's turned on its side and that'll expand your second video track now that we have two tracks of video, we can start applying effects to give us our 3D anaglyph. So we're going to start working on the first channel, the top channel, and we'll, we'll, from now on we'll refer to this as our left channel. So what we need to do to make this our left channel is we're going to apply the red effects to this channel. So if we go to video effects and then down to image control, scroll up a little bit there you're going to see a effect here called color balance RGB now what we're going to do is we're going to drag that across and drop it onto that top channel there the first one the left channel or the red channel now as we're going to make that the red channel we want to knock out all of the green color and all of the blue color okay and we have a red channel what we also need to do for our parallax effect is to move it a little bit off center so with our position there we're uh, going to move that we can see that the the source video that I'm working with is 640 in width and 360 in height so the center point is 320 which is obviously half and 180 which is obviously half of the height so what we're going to do is move the left channel to the left just a little bit as you can see there moved it two pixels to the left and made that 318 and we're finished there in motion okay now that we've finished playing with that channel for the moment we can come down here to our attributes and click that little eyeball there and that'll turn the red or the left channel off okay now we want to work on this channel which is going to be our blue channel so again we'll come back over here to color balance drag over that 
effect and drop it onto our blue channel there and as we don't need any red in this one we're going to knock that right out completely to zero and we're going to leave green and blue just as it is and again for our parallax effect we're going to open up motion here and we're going to move the position of this one two pixels to the right that's three right in the middle there we go okay so what we can do now is if we scroll back down to here to our second track to our red or left channel and we activate it again you'll see that once that's visible it's laying over the top we take it away we can see the blue channel notice how they're moving slightly left to right there because we offset them on the on the different axes what we've done now is actually create a parallax effect so to put the two together and to finish up here on our second channel we're going to blend it in so we come to opacity and this is where Premiere borrows from Photoshop it has some really cool blending modes very very powerful so to blend it in and get our anaglyph effect excuse me we'll select screen and as you can see there we've merged the two together we've got our 3D effect there if you look oh, let me just zoom in on that a little bit and we'll have a look closely at some of these parts here you can see that the E on the tire here we've got the little red shading shadowing effect there you now have a 3D video and it's as easy as that we'll just highlight the work area here and go to export media in the file menu and from here you can export it to whatever format you require for any device you require and that's it it's that easy